Hi, I'm Dr. Mark Elman. I'm a comprehensive ophthalmologist and the inventor of the iQuick digital ophthalmoscope camera. One of the reasons that I invented the iQuick camera was I felt that we needed a device for ocular imaging that we can bring to the patient for those patients who are difficult to move into a traditional tabletop retina camera. This makes it great for patients who are on stretchers or in a wheelchair. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate using the iQuick digital ophthalmoscope camera to take images of the anterior and posterior segments. In order to take an external photo, I'm going to hold the camera in front of the eye. Notice that I am on the right eye and there is an R on the top right corner indicating that. I am balancing the camera using the thumb and forefinger of my left hand and my left pinky is resting on the patient's forehead. I am then going to turn on the light and down here in the little window I can see that I am on green or plus 12. That's a great place to start for external images. I'm going to set the light for the desired light level and then I could find focus using my forefinger on the diopter wheel. I can also adjust the focus in the field of view slightly by moving in and out. Once I have the desired image on the screen, I press the trigger button, it'll hold that image on the screen. Now let's demonstrate a retinal photo on the patient's left eye. For a retinal photo, we typically want to be at red or minus two. I'm going to press the trigger button to release the previous picture and then the right left indicator to select the left eye. I can then follow the red reflex into the eye. When I see the image that I desire, I can go ahead and capture it by pressing the trigger button. Once I have the image I desire on the screen, I can immediately show it to the patient.